What's up, everyone? Today we are talking about Upwork's recent changes. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to stick around. It's going to get good. For those who don't know me, I'm Lex DeVille, and on this channel, we help people escape corporate prison and build a freelance empire. We share lots of freelance tips and tutorials, so if you're new, consider subscribing. Today's video is about Upwork and their recent changes. If you don't know about those changes, you should. They, Within the last year, Upwork has become a publicly traded company. And since they became a publicly traded company, they started making a whole bunch of changes that are mostly negative for you. There are a few positives, but I wanted to share those and uh, just talk about them a little bit. Now that we've had some time to process them, to see how Upwork's gonna approach the issues and what they're gonna do. So first of all, why are the changes happening? They're happening because Upwork is public, they have shareholders to please, those shareholders want money, they want their investments back, and uh, to get those investments faster, Upwork has to increase fees for people. Who do they increase the fees for, though? They know that without clients, they have no platform. Without freelancers, they have no platform, too. But freelancers are more expendable because there's more freelancers than there are clients, a lot more. So they know if they lose some freelancers, it's no big deal. They'll just bring more to the platform and they will always have more. Upwork is increasing their fees. They have they started by raising the percentage fee that was tacked on to any gig. So it used to be 10% a while a couple years ago, but now it's 20% when you start a gig. It drops down to 10% after you've earned $500 with a given client, and then it drops to 5% after you've earned $10,000 with that client. I believe that's correct. Don't quote me on that, though. But now they've instituted additional fees. So you're paying per connect. That is $0.15 cents per connect last time I checked. And you're paying, you have to spend two to six connects to apply to any gig now, which was never a thing before. And additionally, you are usually spending between four and six connects per gig, not just two. I don't, I don't know how, what the requirements for that are. I need to double check that, but I think it's based on the experience level of the gig, possibly the budget of the gig. The point is you're paying extra for connects, Clients are also paying more. So they split the client uh, the client section, the client end, into different tiers of client accounts. There's still a free account, and that account still has a fee for hiring people. But then they've also got paid accounts that range from somewhere like $10 or $40 all the way up to $400, somewhere in that range. I don't know the exact number. So again, don't quote me on that. But there are additional spending options for clients now. And then you still have the thing where your profile gets set to private if you don't apply to and get hired and paid for new gigs within a certain period of time. My profile is currently set to private, even though I have money in escrow, because I didn't apply to any new gigs last month and I didn't work with any new clients on Upwork last month. And mainly because I'm just kind of sick of their fees and sick of them you know, putting everything in favor of the shareholders at the expense of freelancers. Are there any upsides uh, for freelancers? I think there are. I think that, you know, you're, you've got less competition. We've seen a lot less competition ever since they instituted this connect fee because people don't want to pay a fee when there's a good chance they're not going to get hired. It's not, you know, half of it has to do with most people don't know how to write a good proposal. And the other half of it has to do with a lot of clients suck and they aren't really even interested in hiring. They're just throwing a uh, job post out there to see what's out there to, to get a feel for it, put their little feelers out and test the waters. So there's a good chance you won't get hired when you send a proposal and that's going to cost you money and that kind of sucks. So a lot of people are leaving the platform. We've seen a big decrease in competition per proposal, a big decrease in the number of proposals sent per job post. Those people are flocking to places that are free still, like people per hour, and just leaving the platform. But like I said before, other people are going to come in and they're going to give Upwork a try, so Upwork is still going to make money. Personally, I don't know if this will benefit them or not in the long run. They may have to change their fee structure. Too many people might leave or too many people may not stick around long enough to find work. That's up to them to look at and decide. Personally, I like it from the standpoint that there's less competition, but at the same time, competition was never an issue for me. It was a non-issue. I never had trouble getting clients, getting clients, earning clients, even when there was, it was packed full of competition. Even when the fees were only 10%, when the fees were 20%, it doesn't matter. With you focus proposals, 
there was never an issue for me. With a strong profile, there was never an issue. So they haven't really helped me that much. They've just cut down some of the clutter really for clients. And on the client end, the fees haven't the fees have increased a little bit, not by much, but they increased a little bit. Now that the tiered accounts are a little bit different, those go up exponentially in price, but the baseline fees went up as well. The percentage that a client pays per freelancer. So they didn't go up much, but all of these fees, none of this stuff, even the tiered accounts is not going to stop sucky clients, clients who suck, clients who post jobs and then don't hire anyone, clients who post jobs and get good proposals but never respond. So all of these fees don't really solve the problems that Upwork has had in the past. They just bring, they just cause us to pay more money. And while there are a few benefits to us, we're not seeing a reduction in the problem. So the clients, the poor clients are the same. The bad clients are the same. The bad freelancers that are willing to pay are still going to be the same. You're still going to have a lot of the same issues. And certain types of jobs are still going to have, are still going to be plagued with all of the issues that already exist. What can you do about this? Well, I mean, there's a couple things you can do. Most of them are going to be challenging for you, but you're going to have to have the awareness and the willpower and the the discipline to be willing to move away from Upwork. And as much as I hate to say that, because Upwork has been a great source of, of clients for me over the past few years, but if you really want to take back control, if you don't want to be subject to Upwork's whims anymore, you have to go away from them. You have to move away from their platform and you have to start figuring out other ways to find freelance work whether that is people per hour another freelance platform person i wouldn't recommend the freelance platforms as you don't have control over them just like you don't have control over upwork so while you may build yourself up on one of them you eventually could end up with the exact same problems you're having with upwork and then you're right back where you started uh, personally i think it would be better to build up skills in cold emailing or client out cold e outreach on uh, linkedin or Facebook or other places where you are drawing people back to yourself, you're drawing people back to your website, your own systems, things that you have control over. So be thinking about that at this time. Uh, personally, if I were you, I would recommend moving away from Upwork as quickly as possible and just forgetting about it and not thinking of Upwork as the go-to freelance platform anymore not thinking of Upwork as a place that is even a legitimate freelance platform anymore, because even though they've got clients, you need to create a separation in your mind. You need to think of Upwork as dead. Think of Upwork as a non-entity. Think of Upwork as, you know, just ceasing to exist. What would that be like? If Upwork didn't exist, where would you go? How would things be? How would you make money as a freelancer? Even if that could even be local, by the way, it doesn't have to be online. You could be building a network locally. You could be doing freelance lawn mowing. There's a lot of ways to do freelance. So just expand your mind a little bit and think about how you can move beyond Upwork because it's time to do that. Upwork sucks. They only care about pleasing their shareholders. They've made that blatantly, blatantly obvious with increased fees decreased performance and not solving any of the problems that should be solved when you're charging more money. So my per my personal opinion at this point is screw you up work because I've been recommending you for a long time as the go-to freelance platform, but I can't do that anymore because you made it impossible to do that. Upwork made it impossible to recommend them as the go-to freelance platform. At this point, they suck. Their customer service sucks. They will suspend your account for non-issues, reasons that don't even make sense. And they won't explain why they did it. That sucks. They will charge you fees to get your account to be unprivate when they set you to private just because you weren't making money for one month. That sucks. So, it's time to take back control. It's time to move away from Upwork. It's time to start to expand your mind and think about how you can get work outside of Upwork. And I hope that you guys will drop a comment below if you have any thoughts on this. I'm not saying you can't get work on Upwork. I'm not saying it's not a good freelance platform in the sense that it has good clients who are willing to spend money. It does. And you will probably be able to make money and find clients still on Upwork. But it's going to cost you more. You're going to lack control always. And you're going to get screwed more and more the longer you stay there. So in my opinion, it's better to have... 
other resources available to you, other skills in terms of finding clients, other sourcing methods, other means, have your own website, know how to write cold emails, figure that out, you know, do a Google search, practice it, practice reaching out to people, start reaching out through LinkedIn, start reaching out through Facebook group, start building other systems and networks that can support you when you finally get sick of Upwork and sick of their bullcrap. Personally, I'm pretty sick of it. My profile is private and I'm not really trying very hard to get it on private because I just don't care anymore. So that is my thoughts on Upwork and their changes. They want to please shareholders. They want to make as much money and they want to do that by sucking it out of you and out of clients. And that's where they stand. They've made that clear. So I hope you'll think about this throughout the day. Think about how you're going to move away from Upwork. If you liked anything in this video, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want notifications. That's all I've got for now. I'm Lex DeVille, and I will see you next time.